The following program is a paid presentation for the 5-in-1 Griddler, brought to you by Cuisinart. To prove the Griddler's versatility, we invited five demanding chefs to cook some of their most challenging dishes with the Cuisinart Griddler. Hey everybody! What are some of your expectations? What do you think, uh, how is the Griddler going to stand up with all of your professional equipment? I'm anxious to see, you know, we're always a little reluctant to see how a device like this is going to do. To be honest, I'm not so sure, so it will be interesting. What about you, Julie? I'm really hoping this whole non-stick situation really works. What are some of the recipes that we have going on? I've got a chicken cordon bleu here that I'm going to do nice. It's always a classical dish with some, some cheese and some prosciutto. You can't go wrong there. And then I love these cauliflowers. Beautiful colors. Wonderful. And you can do all of that just on the griddler. What about you, Michelle? Uh, we're going to do uh, cremini mushrooms and a veal cutlet. Going to caramelize those mushrooms if we can get this hot enough. So we'll right, see. it's all about the heat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, Bruce, what do you have? I'm going to do a grilled watermelon. Ooh, I love that. With walnuts and gorgonzola mm. and some balsamic for a finish. You're speaking oh, my language choice. right now. What about you, Julie? I'm taking full advantage of both sides of the grill here, the griddler, and I'm gonna do chocolate pancakes with some berries and some nuts on top. Wow! Louise, what do you have going on? Well, I have some sea bass and some beautiful baby carrots, and I normally would take the sea bass and sear it in a hot pan over fire and finish it in the oven. So we're gonna see how we can mimic that here on the griddler. I think you guys are gonna be surprised. Well, let's okay. keep going. How's that watermelon doing? It smells great. All I can smell are mushrooms. <laughs> These carrots are so pretty. I'm hoping they'll get some good caramelization on this grill side. The chicken's looking good. Look. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. It's great. I think if I had this at home, I would probably experiment with it. Great for hors d'oeuvres. The non-sticks worked out really well. You know, for, for a counter device, it's so versatile. I think what's making it so versatile is that we can control the temperature. Okay, that was easy. There you go. Chicken, cauliflower, how about that? Beautiful, worked out really well, better than I expected. Wow, how did it go? <laughs> Very Good. well. Yeah? Surprised better than them. expected. Yeah. Did you guys have enough heat from the griddler? Yes. <laughs> there was enough heat because I know that was definitely. a big concern. It was definitely hot. I mean, you can tell by looking at all of our food, it's nicely caramelized. We got good brown sear on it. I mean, the mushrooms, I was really curious how she was going to get those mushrooms sauteed, but they look great. How will this work for people at home? It yeah. just works really, really easily. You don't have to be a professional chef to use a great piece of equipment. I got to tell you, it, it worked really well. I was very, very impressed by it. It's a good device. You were able to make all this amazing food right here on the Griddler, and fast. And too. fast, really fast. So we've got sea bass and chocolate pancakes, grilled watermelon, cordon bleu with vegetables, and a grilled veal with criminy mushrooms that are caramelized to perfection.